In this module, I will discuss about chromosomal basis of Mendelian inheritance. What is the role of chromosome in inheritance? Mendel established two principles of inheritance. One, the alleles of a single gene segregate from each other. Second, the alleles of two different genes assort independently. These are two principles or principle law of Mendelian pattern of inheritance. So let me see the principle of segregation and behavior of meiotic chromosomes. This has been explained in this figure. At the first metaphase of meiotic division 1, maternal chromosome, it is homozygous for A allele, that is capital A allele, and paternal chromosome is homozygous for small A allele. So, offspring is a heterozygous for A by capital A by small A alleles. At the first anaphase of the first meiotic division, the two chromosomes segregate. Side by side, there is the segregation of two alleles, capital A alleles and small A alleles. At telophase 1 stage, eventually two daughter cells are formed. So, in these two daughter cells, the maternal and paternal chromosomes separate and these maternal and paternal chromosomes carrying capital A allele and small a allele respectively. Ultimately, at telophase 2 stage, four gametes are formed, each gamete that is half of the each gamete carrying capital A alleles and half of the each gamete carries small A alleles. So, in the segregation of chromosomes and segregations of alleles are parallel. Mendel draws the conclusions from this one you can draw the conclusions that Mendel's principle of segregation is based on the separation of homologous chromosomes during anaphase of first meiotic division. The physical separation of chromosomes during meiosis segregates the alleles from each other. So, here we also find that is the there is a segregation of chromosomes and also segregations of alleles. So, there is a parallel behavior of chromosomes and alleles. In this diagram, we are showing the Mendel's principles of independent assortment. In the Mendel's principles of independent assortment, the gene or alleles, they segregate independently. Here in this diagram, we are showing that is the maternal chromosomes are arranged in the equatorial plane along with the paternal chromosomes. Now, maternal chromosomes carrying the two alleles A and B, that is capital A and capital B, while paternal alleles carrying the two alleles small a and small b. In the offspring, the, it is heterozygous for a a and b b, that is a by a and b by b alleles. At the anaphase 1 of first meiotic division, the chromosomes segregates, that is maternal and paternal chromosomes segregates and as a result of which the alleles that is capital A and capital B and small a and small b 
they also segregates. Eventually, at telophase 1, they form the daughter cells. In the daughter cells, the maternal and paternal chromosomes segregates side by side your the capital A and capital B alleles as well as small a and small b alleles also segregates. Ultimately at telophase 2 gametes are formed, there are four gametes are formed, half of the gametes carrying capital A and capital B alleles and half of the alleles, half of the gametes it carries small a and small b alleles. In another cross that is in another figures we are also showing over here that is the alignment of the chromosomes when altered that is maternal chromosome in metaphase 1 stage that is maternal chromosomes and paternal chromosomes are arranged in the same equ equatorial plane while in paternal chromosomes and maternal chromosomes are also arranged in the same equatorial planes. And here maternal chromosome carrying the two alleles that is your A alleles and B alleles that is capital A alleles in one maternal chromosomes and capital B alleles in another maternal chromosomes. On the other hand paternal chromosomes carries small a and small b alleles. So in offsprings it is AA and BB. It is heterozygous for AA and BB. At anaphase 1 stage, the chromosomes segregates and alleles also segregates. So there is a segregation of capital A and small b alleles side by side. There is a segregation of small a and capital B alleles. Eventually, the daughter cells are formed. Now these daughter cells carry that is segregated chromosomes and each daughter cell carries capital A and small b alleles and another daughter cell it is also carrying small a and capital B alleles. Ultimately at telophase 2 four gametes are formed. Half of the gametes carries capital A and small b alleles and half of the gametes carrying small a and capital B alleles. Therefore, from here we can come to this conclusion that at the end of meiosis, when the chromosome number is finally reduced, half of the gametes should contain a parental combination of alleles capital AB or small ab and half should contain a new combination of capital A small b or small a capital B. Altogether, there will be four types of gametes a b, small a b, capital A small b and small a capital B. Each one fourth of the total. This equality of gametes production is due to independent behavior of two pairs of chromosomes during anaphase 1. So here also we find that is there is an independent assortment of alleles side by side there is an also independent assortment of chromosomes. So we can say there is a parallel behavior of genes and the chromosomes. So this chromosomal behavior during meiosis explain the Mendel's both the laws that is the law of segregation and law of independent assortment. Gregor Johann Mendel, T. H. Morgan and C. B. Bridges they have made a great milestone in genetics. In this module we have provided key concepts of the module, quizzes, list of books for reading and study materials. Thank you for attending our online course.